Welcome back. Welcome back to uh, Paladin Gaming. We are going into the first mission of the Between the Ashes version of Operation Templar, bringing the hammer down. Congratulations, pilot. Because of your excellent service record, you have been chosen to participate in Operation Templar. This is a joint Terran Vasudan endeavor intended to eradicate the last remnants of the Vasudan fanatics who call themselves the Hammer of Light. So, March 17th, 2359. This is. Since losing contact with Earth, availability of the Avenger and Prometheus cannons have been extremely limited. A Terran Vasudan research group has developed a retrofit of the Prometheus using synthetic gases, sacrificing damage output. The Prometheus R is being issued to all Alliance pilots as standard issue weaponry. So this is several years after, um, Slaves to Chaos. You are also issued the Akitan subsystem disruptor gun. It is highly effective against shielding and subsystems. The Akitan is designed to function with Vasudan power grids. You may need to allocate more energy to your weapon systems to fight effectively. Finally, the Serker anti-capital ship torpedo has been put into mass production. Developed by the GTI during the Hades Rebellion, the highly modular design is the most powerful warhead in our arsenal. Older weapon reserves are limited, so choose your loadouts carefully. The most powerful warhead in our arsenal. Uh, does that count the Helios? Alright, continuing. At 2130 hours, Hammer of Light operatives infiltrated the Sudan ranks in an attempt to hijack the GVD Anhu, a Typhon class destroyer in the Vasuda system. Security forces are now battling the rebels for control of the ship. Your mission is to provide cover for the marine transports that will dock with the Anhu and insert reinforcements. This seems to happen a lot. <laughs> Supreme Admiral Ku and other high-ranking officers of the Admiralty were on board the Anhu for a demonstration <coughs> of the Scarab stealth technology prototypes. Should the Rebels attempt to seize the prototypes or take the Admiralty hostage, we will need to act decisively. Alright, prevent the Anhu's capture by the Hammer of Light. Ship selection. Oh, this is already different. We have the Myrmidon. So we'll go with that just for the novelty. Uh, the Mirabadon is the ba basic fighter in Free Space 2, and it hasn't been seen in any of the campaigns I've played up till now. So we'll go ahead and fly it. Trouble is, it can't mount aspect-seeking warheads. <laughs> Alright, we'll go with the default loadout for now. I know it's probably going to play out in much the same way as the uh, Hostiles inbound. Pick your marks. Free Space Port version, but I played that back in September and just held on to it. Held on to the videos, so. Oh, really? They have bombers in the field. The Anhur is engaging its fusion drive, heading to the Alpha Centauri jump node. Do not let it escape. Anhur's main turret is in our line. Watch 
Huh, lag. Not sure why. Incoming jump signature. Hostile configuration. Perimeter objective neutralized. All guns are down. Damn it. Come on, guy. There we go. Launching bombers from the bay. Oh, they don't have to be in the test. Alright, I don't need the SD, I don't need the Akaton. Wait, I do. I wonder if this engine does this will take damage. The Cardinals never did. Hey, it will. How about that? Huh. This actually gets its flat cannons. I'm not convinced the Intrepid ever did in slaves of chaos because I never once saw them in action. Hit him with a bomb. Damn it. Hate losing the asset like that. Damn it, you're my six. guys are dead. It's just me and Alpha 2.
opportunity to disable the Anhur is, I think, an exercise in futility. Great work, pilot. The remnants of the Hammer of Light forces are on the run. We are currently pursuing them into the Alpha Centauri system. You prevented the Hammer of Light from escaping with the captured destroyer. They will be that much weaker when we meet them again. But that provides little comfort to those lost on the Anhur. We must somehow eliminate this scourge once and for all. All right, statistics. 11 total kills. Four of them were sentry guns, but still, there were some real fighter kills in there. So that is that, and we will uh, go on to the second mission. This is Paladin Gaming signing off.